Hey friends, it's Jill here with the Hometown Homestead and today I'm out in the garden planting some onions that are pretty close to death to be quite honest with you, but I'm going to give them a shot anyway. It's been a wild week around here and I've really been struggling with what I want to put out this week and part of it is because there's been a lot going on here um, locally with a, a young girl getting hurt in a car wreck and it's really brought up a lot of stuff for us. So. I'm going to have you out here planting with me and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about kind of how we got to where we are personally and why I'm not the mom I thought I would ever be and why that's really okay with me. So let's hang out. For those of you that know me personally, you know that we've been through a lot with one of our kids health wise. Um, it's a story that we're on the other side of now and it's nothing but God's pure grace that we have our family whole and intact. And it was a lot of stress and a lot of struggle for us for quite a while. Um, and during that time we had found out we were pregnant with our fifth. Um, we had one that had just turned a year old. We just, we had a lot going on and we had already decided to homeschool at that point. But we had not started really anything related to like a home setting journey, self-sufficiency, growing our own food or anything like that. Um, my husband grew up here locally, so did I. Uh, and we just kind of had the idea that we would homeschool and our kids would continue on with all the same activities that we grew up doing and all that kind of thing. And to the point where recently I got involved helping out our local um, baseball teams run their summer league. And I found myself recently feeling like this isn't for my family. Like this just isn't best for us. And, and like it, I can finish out this year, but it's not going to work next year. And the reason that that came to me and how this all connects goes back to this young girl that was injured in a car wreck this week. And I'm going through like some of the emotions that I felt when I was sitting by the hospital bedside and some of the spots that I was in as a parent. And, and I come to realize that perhaps that's what has changed me. Like maybe that's why things that I used to think were super valuable are holding a different place in my life and not as valuable as, um, I once thought they would be like, I honestly don't care about sports anymore. I don't care if my kids participate in those things necessarily I mean I do see that there's value my kids will always play basketball on a team with their cousins and all that kind of stuff but like right now we're heading into baseball season and all I can think about is the fact that every single night somebody's gonna have practice and we're gonna be gone and I just feel like that time away from our family and the things that are committed most to us might not be a value and I think that comes from like searching for we're understanding that time is so fleeting. We're not promised tomorrow. And how do I want to spend this day? And how do you want to spend this day? And my hope is that my words are a catalyst to you to consider like the reality that you need to make the most of every single minute with where you're at and be just like totally aware that time is so fleeting and, and really reevaluate, like, is this how you want to spend your time? And that like, that comes down to work. That is life. That is what you're doing when you are home with your family. You know, do you want to be, um, at work all day? And I know it's really hard cause my husband still does work a day job, but like, what could we do to get him out of there? Because in reality, all of the things and all of the beauty and big house and cars and all of that really mean nothing. Like absolutely zero. If you're working your whole entire life, away trying to gain these things that they tell us we need and should have when in reality all that we need and should have are the ones that we love and we've been trusted to care for that live under our roof like that's it full stop we don't need all of the latest clothes we don't need all of the latest things and and anything but like the family that we have and the trust in god that he's gonna see us through and and take care of us in these moments. And so anyway, it's just like kind of come to me that perhaps the reason that I can so easily evaluate and say like, this isn't for my family. I don't, I don't say that as, as a, an 
like it, insults the wrong word, but I don't say this as this shouldn't be for your family. Like this totally might be for your family. And, and you might have an all-star athlete, which I've got great athletes, but I'm, what that's kind of beside the point. I guess my larger point is just like, nothing should be automatic. Nothing like absolutely everything should withstand the test of, is this right for my family? Is this right for my family? And that is something that can be reevaluated on a constant basis. Like, is this right for my family? And what does it take to give them what they need? And what do they really need? Like, we, I feel like we've all been bought and sold this lie. And I said this on my personal Facebook page, like probably two weeks ago now, like this whole thing's a sham. We've been taught that we need to go to school, to go to college, to end up with the loan. Then we're a slave to the loan. So we have to get the job that takes us away from our family that keeps us busy and isolated all the time. We have to buy the junk food because we don't have time to make the real food. And I know that some people find the term real food offensive. I've learned that this week. Um, but it's true. Like we, the, buy ingredients and, and making your food is much less expensive than buying the full process time kind, but it takes time. And like, do you have that time if you're a slave to the system that is keeping you away from your family and away from raising your own kids in the way that you feel is right? You know, it's just kind of all like an unveiling, like a pulling away and a peeling of the layers, like an onion, for example, a peeling of the layers. And I think for me, it started kind of slowly and it really wasn't until the last couple of days I... I think I actually said this to my husband last night, like maybe what we went through is why I'm so resistant to things that pull me off where I feel like I am designed to be and where I feel like is my calling, my place to be with my family. And, and I just, I really want to have you think about that. Like, what is your calling? What is your purpose? And how can you get closer to that if you can't be there currently? And it definitely is a work in process. And, and there is a lot of, you know, material comfort that at some point just becomes or became for me like completely unnecessary. I used to be into clothes and shoes and all the things and makeup and hair and all of that. And now all I like, I feel like that's been like stripped away from me in a way that I can't really explain. Like, it's just, it's not the number one anymore. I don't want anybody to work their life away to, to give me or to try to provide me something they think I need. When in reality, all I need is my family together and doing the best that we can to spend the time that we have in a way that will cherish forever and never regret no matter what circumstances come or or what comes our way so anyway I know that's probably not the typical thing that you're used to hearing from me but it was what was on my heart um, so I wanted to share that with you guys today so I'm gonna finish planting my onions I hope you have a fabulous day um, and take the time to reevaluate if everything you're doing is for the greater good of you and your family, um, or if maybe there's some things that need some realigning. So thanks for stopping by. I hope to see you back soon. And if you're interested in following my family story, make sure to subscribe below. Bye friends.